think so, honestly. Just because of the way it is, I mean, you just kind of got to go through the course, and then when you get out there, just judge effort level, I guess. You know, just go go after it hard and, and let the chips fall where they may. Yeah. And do you kind of, like, use the obstacles, like, I'm trying to think I'm going against an opponent, so to speak, so now you can kind of get a rhythm, yeah. so to speak, as you go through the obstacle course? Definitely. I mean, I think a lot of it has to do with rhythm because you can't go too fast in one area. And then, you know, if you miss the pass or you miss the shot, I mean, it's not just about speed. It's also about execution. I've, all, I've wondered that often, 3D. Matt, you're bringing up the point. If you're practicing for the skills challenge before you come to All-Star Weekend, you grab a couple of the guys who are your dedicated rebounders of practice, you stand them out there like those – like those NBA logos to dribble around, <laughs> and you got one practice guy standing like this. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. 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 You know, take a couple of brews. There's really yeah. no way until you get here. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, well, I, I just used my imagination. I went through like a little, little thing, and I was like, you know, I got Jerry West, you know, the logo, and I had little Nate Archibald. I was, I was trying to do everything in it. Well, well this was yesterday. Ooh. Zeke went through the course, and <laughs> oh, fortunately right. for us, we recorded it for you. <laughs> Okay, this is 2018 All-Star Game Taco Bell Skills Challenge. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dribble through my man Jerry West. I'm going to go down, stop, and make a pass. And then I grab that purple and black ball. I dribble all the way back up here, make a layup. By that time, I'm going to be real tired. And then I got to get it back. And then I got to go down and knock down the three. We're going to try to do that. And we're going to try to make you see and feel what I'm seeing and feeling through this new technology headgear I'm wearing. All right, let's go. Ready, go. Jerry West. Oh, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. I'm going to kill you, Jerry. Yeah. And now I got to make a pass. Let me see how my. Oh, I missed it. See, oh, see my, see my Magic Johnson pass. I see my Magic Johnson pass work. So when I get my Magic Johnson pass and work, now I come back up. I got my little tiny archer ball. I got my Steve Nash. Act like I made the layup. Then I come back. And who I'm going to be? I think I'm going to be Kevin Durant right now. I got to step up and make a three. Uh, missed it. So I got to go back, get the ball, try it again. Now I see if I beat Steph Curry. Uh, me and Steph Curry got a thing. Steph Curry, we out. Skills challenge, baby. Uh, nice, nice uh, that's impressive, yeah. man. Go ahead, yeah. well Spencer. Go ahead, Spencer. <laughs> nah, you had the bucket right on the side. You didn't have to get your rebound. Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's, why all those, that's why all those basketballs are sitting right there. Uh, just, I think you're probably familiar with the rules, but there's a time component to this. Yeah. So don't stroll. Yeah. I, I got you. I got and you. style your way through it the way Zeke kind of did, and you actually have to hit the layup. You can't I mean, just say you hit the layup. Yeah, no. Hall of Famer, though. You, you get points for style. <laughs> is there one element of this thing that that is i don't know that is most daunting that you think you could get stuck on i mean i probably the dribble up three I yeah mean, that's probably the hardest yeah. hardest component to the whole situation you know the the pass is well see i don't want to jinx myself but <laughs> yeah. a, lot, a lot of guys get hung up on the pass on the pass yeah yeah i didn't miss it yesterday but i mean we'll see <laughs> Have you had a chance to, like, maybe – I know you haven't gone through a, the obstacle, but have you had a chance mm -hmm. to watch former winners and what they did maybe in years past? Or yeah. Not? I mean, yeah. just as you prepare for, for, for tomorrow. For sure. I mean, I, I've watched All-Star Weekend pretty much every weekend since I was a kid, right. you know. So I've, I've seen the Skills Challenge pretty much the whole time. So I've seen it evolve and change and now bigs versus guards and just looking at how the guys compete. I mean, to me, it's, it's mostly about effort and then, like I said, the, the dribble up three. I'm going to take you away from the skills challenge right now and talk to you about the, the great year you're having and the wonderful growth in terms of your development as a player. And I remember us having a conversation your mm -hmm. first year when we were in Orlando, yeah. and you were going through some knee injuries and everything yeah. else, and we talked about intensity, concentration, energy, and just growing and, you know, keeping your confidence. Yeah. Throughout your your track how have you been able to maintain and keep your confidence to get to the player that you are now because yeah. you believed it back then yeah right yeah and but nobody else believed it <laughs> but you yeah. you kept coming and now here you are today talk to everybody about how you was able to maintain and keep that focus i mean i, I just think in in this life it, you're, you're always going to have people telling you what you can't do i mean you know we've all lived this to a to a certain degree and I, I just refuse to believe it, honestly. Well, what's up? Oh yeah, no, like I, I just, I just refuse to believe the naysayers. You know, I, I would take confidence from.
big games I may have had my rookie year or my, my sophomore year. And so I knew that I could do it. And I took confidence from practice. You know, yeah. I played against great players in practice all the time. Reggie Jackson, Brandon Jennings, you know, when, when he was playing really well before his injury. And th those were the things I stuck to instead of all the things that people said I couldn't do. Right. And you kind of have to be just a little bit crazy too. Yeah. Well, it took a lot of it took a lot of perseverance and yeah. not listening. And, and yeah. Grant can Grant's got a follow up question to that. But you know, if if you can stay there for a minute, that'd be great. Yeah. No. I mean, just to continue with with that thought. I mm -hmm. mean, having been hurt at a young yeah. age. Uh, I heard that it, it really sort of just got you to take care of yourself. You learn yeah. about eating right. Yeah. Uh, you had I read somewhere you have like a Kobe-like obsessiveness about taking oh, care okay. of your body, working yeah. on your game. Just talk about that experience and, and sort of, you know, helping you get through some challenges and yeah. get to that point now where you're here and you're continuing to grow and become an elite player. Well, I, I think the, the hardest part about an injury like the one I had, um, everything is then out of your control. You know, there, there was nothing I could have done to stop it, you know. And so once I was recovered from it and going through the recovery process, I wanted to bulletproof myself as much as possible. I wanted to make sure that that would never happen again to the best of my ability. You know, and, I, and, and it just makes you cherish every moment being able to step on the floor, especially the NBA floor. And you want to leave it all out there. And I wanted to, at the end of this road, be able to just kind of look back and be like, whatever happens, I'm fine with it. No regrets. You know, I... I, I there, there's no part of this situation where I can look back and be like, oh, man, what if I had to just went to the gym and got a couple more shots? Or what if I had to just squatted one more time? Maybe I wouldn't have been hurt or this, that, or third. I, I refuse to, to have that type of burden on my mind. This is a homecoming for you. Went to high school here yeah. in L.A., and we saw the tweet. Uh, you said you'd never go to an All-Star weekend until you were a participant, yeah. uh, which you now are. Yeah. Uh, considering all we just talked about, Second round pick, you had the knee injury in college, traded, waived, G League, found a home in Brooklyn. What does <laughs> yeah. it mean to you that you're able to be a participant this weekend? Man, I'm mad Detroit let you go. I'm mad. <laughs> Gee, here, we, we had him. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. No, I mean, man, it's a blessing. To be able to share this moment with my family, it's, it, it's crazy, man. Like, it, it's really crazy and to come home and for everything to just kind of come full circle at, at one time. Um, it's just a blessing. I actually did say that. I was like, I'm, I'm never going to an all-star game until I'm a part of it. That was like a goal of mine. It was, it was something that I set in stone, and I guess it was just me being prideful at the time and a little bit stubborn, I guess. But, you know, it, it's worked out, so it's fun. Speak, speaking of stubborn, we always talk about the head coach point guard relationship. Mm -hmm. Kenny Atkinson played against him in college. He's stubborn. Yeah. But he has <laughs> you guys playing hard every night. Yeah. Talk about you guys' relationship. Oh, man, I, when, when you have a guy that genuinely believes in you and, and you feel like it's fighting for you, you, you fight for them. It, it, just, it goes both ways. And, and when you feel like they, they bought into who you are, you're willing to give them everything. And so I think that's what makes part of what makes Kenny such a great coach. You, you want to play hard for him every night. You know, when you, when you talk about who you are a, a, as a person uh, in terms of your, your off-the-court yeah. habits, in terms of your – your hobbies, your 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 readings, your education yeah. background. What, tell us a little bit about that about yourself. Oh, because <laughs> uh, most people don't know that. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> no. Nah, I mean, I guess we could we start with high school. Got a fourteen hundred out of sixteen hundred on the SAT. Yeah. Uh, Harvard was my second choice. Come on, say that one more time. <laughs> Talk to Tommy me Amico. Talk Harvard, to you, Tommy Amico. Yeah, 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 that's right. yeah, yeah. Yeah, Harvard was my second choice. Um, but I wanted to go to NBA in two years. I was like one hundred fiftieth in in my high school class, but I was determined to go to NBA in two years. So. I said I want to go to Pac-12, and, and so I chose Colorado. Um, you said the second part of that question was? Uh, what? Your hobbies. Oh, your my hobbies. hobbies. Oh, I really like to cook. So I was recently just yeah. on Rachel Ray. Um, I didn't make anything healthy, even though I'm about 80% vegan. Uh, you vegan on the weekend? No, no, no. So so I probably, I probably uh, eat animal products maybe – three times in a week so yeah. like mm. there will be three meals period that has animal products uh in a week did he say his fallback was hard fallback was yeah, hard yeah. 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 duke was yeah. duke was my fallback <laughs> <laughs> uh what are you looking forward to most over the weekend you're back home i mean you've got a a, a competition to be a part of but there's a yeah. lot of other stuff happening here uh, just, just my family. I mean, for, for me, being able to come back here and, like I said, share this moment with my family, that, that's the best part about it. You know, my auntie, everything, family, mom, dad, brother, everybody, cousin, yeah. they're, they're, they're going to be here. Ticket, the ticket, ticket request? Yeah, yeah. yeah, what's the ticket situation? Look, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, hey, I'll tell, like, tell you like I told them. 
Those are love you prices. <laughs> but those, hey, I tell you like I tell you like I told them. Those are love you prices. <laughs> but those are love you prices. I, like I love it. I, like I that. love it. I like that. Uh, it's great. Well, enjoy it. Uh, we'll be watching for you. Who, who's the uh, Who's the man to beat? In the skill challenge? Yeah, Spencer. Oh. Spencer Dinwiddie with us here. That's fair. That's fair. Spencer Dinwiddie with us here, part of our uh, All Star coverage here on Friday. Good.